Welcome to the Smart Business Revolution. 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 Do you want a revolution? Yeah. You say you want a revolution. Revolution. The revolution. It's going on right now. Welcome to The Revolution, the Smart Business Revolution podcast, where we ask today's most successful entrepreneurs to share the tools and strategies they use to build relationships and connections to grow their revenue. Now, now, your host for The Revolution, John Corcoran. Hey, everybody. This is John Corcoran with Dr. Jeremy Wise, and this episode is a little bit different. This is a live interview that we recorded at the Global Leadership Conference from Entrepreneurs Organization, where some of the best entrepreneurs from around the globe gathered in Washington, D.C. to share ideas and to learn about entrepreneurship. And of course, this episode is brought to you by Rise25 where we help B2B businesses to give to and to connect to their Dream 100 relationships and partnerships, helping you to run a podcast so that it generates a referral pipeline and ROI. Yeah, I mean, John, after both of us have been podcasting for over a decade, the number one thing in our life is relationships. And we're always looking at ways to give to our best relationships. And we found no better way to do that over the past decade than to profile the people and companies we admire and shout from the rooftops what they're working on. And this interview is no different. So if you've thought about podcasting, you should go to rise25.com to learn more or email us at support at rise25.com. Thanks everyone, enjoy the interview. Enjoy. John Corcoran, and we're live here at Global Leadership Conference from EO, Entrepreneurs Organization, brought to you by Rise25. We are the easy button for a B2B podcast, and I'm here with Miranda from Empower, who had the amazing distinction of interviewing Tyra Banks on stage, keynote, uh, yesterday morning. So we're going to ask about that in a second. But first, Empower is the name of your company. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do. So Empower is a human capital consulting firm. We're based in Tanzania, but we serve clients across the African continent in the area of talent and executive search, advisory, so learning and development, strategy, team building, and then insight, research, and market intelligence. And you guys put on retreats for different companies. Tell us about some of the retreats you put on. Absolutely. Actually, the retreats are one of the most popular products that we offer. We try to provide an immersive experience for our clients. So, for example, uh, maybe we're working with a team who are going through leadership transition. So, incorporating um, everything from building effective communication skills, making sure the team is synergized and bonded, has a very clear vision in where they're going. Um, we do outdoor activities as well as indoor t type of more strategic things. Um, and it's usually a two or three day experience with some learning outside of the room as well. Sounds like a blast. I, I want to go to one of these. These sound amazing. Yes, we usually have music and dance and, you know, evening socials as well and dress up. So it's, it's, it's an all-encompassing experience for any team and it really helps the, the company to move the needle forward a little bit more. Yeah, that's great. Um, now, yesterday you had an amazing experience. You were on stage in front of a thousand people interviewing Tyra Banks, who has gone from supermodel to media maven and entrepreneur. Uh, what was that experience like for you? My gosh, I was super nervous. Could you tell? Um, I, I could not tell at all. It, you played it off really well. I hit it well. I hit it well. Um, it was a phenomenal experience and privilege, of course, being an EO member, being the GLC chair for this year, um, to have that opportunity to even sit with her. So when the opportunity arose, I just said yes and then had to figure it out behind the scenes. Lots of preparation, lots of support from the um, EO learning team, the, the staff team, the professional team, uh, getting questions together and yeah just having to learn how to control your nerves and stay focused and make sure people don't know that you're shaking and sweating <laughs> under your dress but other than that it was a phenomenal experience she was very down to earth she was very down to earth yeah, yeah she was very candid she kind of shared warts and all I yeah. felt and and also 
shared a lot about the rawness of the entrepreneurial experience. Absolutely, and I think it resonated with our members. At first, when we were putting the narrative together and we suggested Tyra's name, we were worried that maybe EO members would not connect with her, but she came across, as you say, incredibly um, humble and also very open, and that's what EO members want. We want to go 5%. We want to really understand who someone is and learn from their experience. Now, you've been involved in leadership. What brought you to pursue that avenue? Because Entrepreneurs Organization offers a, a lot of different things. You can be a member, you can participate on a local level. Uh, you've gotten more involved. Tell us about why you decided to get involved in leadership. I think one of the most important parts of EO is what we call the path of leadership. And you start by serving your chapter and making sure that members are having a great experience as EO members. And then you start, you sort of get onto this track and you can't stop. They call it drinking the EO Kool-Aid. Um, and, you know, look around. Being here at GLC, these are some of the benefits you get from being a leader in EO. And you start to realize that there are more opportunities, the more that you wish to serve. Um, so I started as a learning chair, became president of my chapter, then a learning expert, global learning committee, um, and I'm the incoming global learning chair. So I don't know how I got here, um, probably on just pure adrenaline and just a deep desire to want to serve and make the organization better than it is. I mean, considering in the last year there's been Malala, uh, Mark Cuban, there's been some uh, Tyra Banks now. Yes, some Usain Bolt came in. Yeah, we've had a lot of big names. Um, the learning committee has been busy just trying to really, really provide value to members, specifically at a time, you know, the last two years, we haven't been able to have in-person events. So how do we keep our members engaged and still able to deliver great value? We all have a thirst for learning. And so that's what unites us as EO members. And so for those at home watching this, what would you say to them about why they should come to GLC in future years? GLC is the absolute pinnacle of the EO calendar, I would say. Um, you get to connect with like-minded leaders, you get to learn, you get to grow, you get to go to incredible social events. Last night we were at the Smithsonian with a jazz band and the food and the drink was hidden amongst the artwork. It was simply phenomenal. It doesn't matter how much money you have, you cannot do that in DC on your own. So being part of EO gives you that opportunity to experience things that you wouldn't usually. And finally, how can people connect and learn more about you and Empower? Um, you can find us on any of the social media platforms. I'm Miranda Nyman, so you can find me on Instagram or Twitter. Empower is E-M-P-O-W-E-R-L-T-D on Twitter. Excellent. Thanks so much, Miranda. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Smart Business Revolution podcast with John Corcoran. Find out more at smartbusinessrevolution.com. And while you're there, sign up for our email list and join the revolution. 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 And be listening for the next episode of the Smart Business Revolution podcast.